course, Bruce tries to saddle me with a stray fangirl. After all these years, he still can't own up to his own responsibilities. No, oh, son of a... Well, looks like Tiny Dancer was telling the truth. They found you, Bruce. Yeah, don't judge me, Grandpa. I'm doing my best. Oh, great Nana's flying machine. It's still a thing of beauty. Can't say the same about her. Let's get airborne. More party crashers. Times. Gonna need a helmet. <sighs> Shortcut time. Helmet should be through that wall. Gotta finish suiting up. Gotta be around here somewhere. Good thing I don't have neighbors. They'd be so pissed off right now. You always love to make an entrance, Stark. How did I do? Uh, I'll give you a 7 out of 10. Good to see you, Georgie boy. You been working out? You any other billion dollar companies lately? Just yours. Hey! You're gonna pay for that window, Tarleton! This is your new place? I expected more mirrors. I got rid of everything that didn't spark joy. Guess what pile you're in? Turn the girl over, Stark. <laughs> and that will get you off my lawn. Uh, Mr. Stark. I'm joking, kid. Just stay near the nice green man. How's Charlton controlling these machines? I don't know. He got powers after the accident. I saw him controlling a robotic spider thing once. Well, he's leveled up from spiders. The girl needs our help. Well, you know, she seems fine to me. Inhumans are sick. They need treatment. Ah, do people actually buy that crap? You have looked down on me from the moment we met. Let me introduce you to what I like to call technokinesis. Sketchy! Rolls right off the tongue. We got air trouble. Stay close to the Hulk. Or as close as he'll let you. No. I got this. 
Watch. Wait! You're not ready for... Or maybe you are. Second kid. Incoming! You heard Dr. Banner's testimony, Stark. The Avengers were dangerous. I wasn't the one who wanted you to be dissolved. All this for me? Aw, oh, you shouldn't have. Don't flatter yourself. I barely left a finger. So the kid's right? You're mind melding with robots now? Watch your words. You no longer make the rules. He does. When I was young, I found an orphaned wolf cub in the forest behind our farm. What? Dad said it was too dangerous. He told me to get rid of it. I fed that cub. I named him. I watched him play with my beloved dog, Darwin. You're wasting my time. I felt if I could instill rules, the proper boundaries, I could harness the raw power of that beast. Are you done rambling? Almost. Oh. A few months later, while hunting, the adolescent cub turned on me, snarling, frothing at the mouth. Darwin bought me a few precious moments to call for help. Dad. My dad shot the wolf. But it was too late. Darwin had been torn to pieces. George. We need him. <laughs> I I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. Leave. Please. Jarvis! You haven't aged a day. Welcome back, Mr. Stark. Missed you, buddy. You flying free? In full working order. Give me the worst of it. The Chimera is running on secondary power. Major hull damage is also detected. Engines are offline. Climate... So it's bad. That is an accurate assessment. Okay, we gotta get this bird airborne. <laughs> Excuse me? AIM knows it's here. So it needs to not be here when they get here. What? All right. While we work on cleanup, you mind taking a look at something for me? Certainly, sir. See what you can do about decrypting this file. At once. Gotta see why the turbines won't activate. Better check out the initiator cores in the hangar. Do I want to know what's going on here? Hey, Tony. Just lending my, um, technical knowledge to Bruce here. Well, I can see I have my work cut out for me. Not helping, Tony. I'm Phil 
Sheldon reporting live from Wait, wasn't this working before? Okay, Jarvis, time me. 1.04 seconds, sir. Huh, guess I'm a bit rusty. Jarvis, pop question, where do we keep the spark plugs? The initiator cores can be found in the far corner of the lower deck, sir. Correct, Amundo. Do I win a prize now, sir? You win the biggest prize of all, my affection. How exciting. Seen enough desert for a lifetime. Love to get this thing airborne. Oh, yeah, that looks perfectly up to safety standards. I think I found the problem. I just... Oh! It's definitely the initiator cores. Wait, don't the bigger aimbots use similar cores? If we could get a hold of one, I could get this old bird in the air in no time. Indeed, sir. But someone would need to procure said initiator cores. Yeah, I barely have a suit. Maybe I could cobble something together. I'll search inventory for leftover pieces of armor. Thanks, buddy. Hey, Tony, I'm still working on the door, but can you check on Kamala? I think she may have turned off her comms. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah, this whole thing, it's uh, probably a tough adjustment. You got it. Second floor of the old crew quarters, right? Jarvis, can you see if she's even up there? Sir, there are no surveillance systems in the private quarters. Whose terrible hippie idea was that? Yours, sir. Right. Well, guess I'm about to barge into a teenager's room. 
You. Whoa. <gasps> hey! Sorry? You should have knocked. I was trying. Uh, as a knocking fist. Jarvis, help me out here. It appears the locking mechanisms on some of the Chimera's crew quarters have not been enabled. There you have it. I will fix that. Please do. I'm gonna meet up on the command deck in about ten minutes. You should, uh, should come. I know, I... I look ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Of course you do. Man... No, 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 no. We all do. It's part of the job. Have you seen Thor's outfit? Flowing robe? Vegas shoulder pads? Pretty ridiculous. <laughs> I am digging this, uh... Oh, it's a burkini. My mom bought it for me. Muslim ladies like to wear it for sports and stuff. It's great. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna change. Wait, 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 wait. The outfit is, is all about attitude. You gotta wear it like you mean it. Show me what you got. Come on, you can do better than that. Yeah, now we're talking? All right. You know what? Maybe I can help you with some upgrades for that. Gear's already spinning. Really? Yeah. Oh, and if Bruce says anything, just remind him that all he wears are super stretchy shorts. <laughs> Bruce, the kid's fine. She's tough. Kind of like her. And she laughs at my jokes. Yeah, she, uh, she grows on you. Hey, uh, meet me at the tech lab. I've almost got this door fixed. You got it, stretchy pants. Sorry, what was that? Nothing. On my way. You're still working on this door, huh? Well, I just need to remove the entire junction box and reconnect the... Ah! Great job, buddy. See? Wasn't so hard. This place is starting to really come to life again, eh? You fishing for a compliment? No, no, never. Just making an observation. All right, if we're gonna get anywhere, we'll need to establish an alternate power source. The Chimera was built for Terrigen, but I can convert it to run on something a little less explodey. I'm scanning the region for sources, but it'll take some time to identify potential initiator core heat signatures. Well, in the meantime, I need a new suit. Where can I find parts to repair the fabrication unit? I've located a good salvage spot and have sent the coordinates to the war table, when you're ready. War table, got it. Fix the fabrication unit, get a shiny new suit, then get this bird off the ground. All right, first stop. No way I'm gonna be any help fixing up the Chimera without my own upgrade. Jarvis, what do you got for me? AIM is moving an experimental dropship, which could be appropriated for parts to repair the fabrication machine. Unfortunately, it's extremely well guarded. But AIM's local defenses are designed around a large-scale air assault. If I fly in alone, using the canyon for cover, 
I should be able to slip through and jack the dropship. It's risky, but I don't see an alternative at this point. I'll upload the dropship's last known location to your HUD. The canyon walls prevent me from fully confirming the intel. I suggest you work quickly. Well, not exactly rocking a state-of-the-art suit, but it should get me there in one piece. Two, Max. We need to move fast. Updating your HUD. Aim appears aware of our intrusion. How about we call this a surprise visit? Intrusion makes it sound like we're the bad guys. Noted, sir. Acquisition trip it is. I'm not sure how long our quarry will remain at its location. I hear you. We should hurry. Interesting how many of AIM's systems are closely related to your designs. George never was an original thinker. Makes them compatible though, which is handy. The how much firepower does AIM have down here? Rather a lot, it would seem. And how much was built with tech they stole from Stark Industries after A-Day? It's impossible to say at this stage. Possibly rather a lot. Karma is not my friend. You know, I wouldn't be scrounging for parts if Bruce had backed me up five years ago. Water under the bridge, sir. Yeah, crappy water under a crappy bridge. You have one minute remaining. The suit's doing great. Isn't calling it a suit rather generous? Ah, that's funny. Make the AI sassy, I said. It'll be fun, I said. That elevator goes to the landing pad we need. Gotcha. Look at all this. Which nation state is aimed when you go to war with? Those munitions also appear similar to your designs. Makes a guy sort of want to blow them up.
Let's get the dropship and get gone, before AIM brings the big guns, literally. I quite agree, sir. It's safe to say Dr. Tarleton would relish the chance to dance on your grave. Thanks, Jarvis. Now I'm stuck with a mental image of George doing the robot on my headstone. Apologies, sir. <laughs>